Okay, so for our first worksheet, um, we are going to be learning about color theory. So this is gonna help you really learn how to blend your colors along the color wheel. So I have my colors right here and my white cardstock that I'm gonna be blending my colors with. You guys, however, are gonna be using a magazine sheet to blend your colors. So for the first box, we are gonna blend our secondary colors. Those are green, orange, and purple. And there's a little key right here that shows you the different colors and the initials that indicate each color in case you get confused. Um, but for our first example, I'm gonna show you how to create green. So we are going to take our blue and we're gonna color in this first box just for demonstration purposes. Um, for these two boxes, you're gonna wanna create the colors on, and sorry, blend them on your magazine sheet um, before you put them in its respective box. Make sure you always have your water cup nearby as well to clean your brush. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that really fast. And then I'm going to place yellow in this box right here. So ideally, when we mix the two together, they will create green, which is a secondary color on the color wheel. So I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow here, and yellow um, gets influenced a lot by other colors. So you only need a teeny bit of blue, probably like that much. And then this is gonna create a nice forest green right in the middle. So I'm gonna take a little bit more yellow, a little bit more blue, and blend the two together. And then we have our mixed colors. So blue and yellow make green. And then for the next boxes, you just wanna do the exact same thing. So orange, right underneath the orange, it tells you the key of what to mix, red plus yellow. So red and yellow. So I'm gonna take my cardstock right here, put a little bit of yellow and a tiny bit of red. Again, anytime you're mixing with yellow, you only need a little bit of the second color because it is very easily influenced. Mix that, and we have orange. And I can go ahead and place the orange right in the middle of that box. And again, try to stay in between the lines um, to make it as neat as possible. But there you go, you have your orange. Now we're gonna go on to mixing our tertiary colors. So those are colors that are mixed, but created by mixing the primaries and secondaries together. So for example, we are going to create red orange. So I'm gonna mix a little bit more orange right here. Take some yellow, place it in the middle. Take a little bit of red, place it right on top. And when I'm mixing, I wanna make sure that I'm pressing down multiple times with my brush. I don't wanna be um, swishing the color around so much that it spreads all over the page. You're gonna lose a lot of paint that way. So you just wanna take your brush and press lightly over and over again, kind of tapping into the paint to create your color. Okay, so I'm going to show you now how to create your intermediate colors. So you're gonna put your orange in the right-hand box right over here. And then we're gonna take our primary, which is red, Make sure you always wipe off your brush. Cool, Make that a little more neat. Take the primary, place the red in here. And then we are going to be mixing the two. So I can go ahead and drag that red to the middle and add more orange. And then boom, we have red-orange. So you can see how orange and red make red-orange. You're gonna do the same exact thing for all of these. You're gonna create red-violet, blue-violet, blue-green, yellow-green, yellow-orange. And again, your key is right here. So if you get confused on what colors to mix, it says right underneath um, the name. So to create red-violet, you mix red plus violet or purple. Blue-violet is blue plus violet, blue-green, blue plus green, and so on. Okay, so next we are going to be coloring in our chromatic grays. So again, gonna wipe off the brush. Make sure it's nice and clean. 
And chromatic grays are basically complementary colors mixed together. So usually these kind of create more milk or more muted browns. Um, but these can show you the different kinds of browns you can create by mixing the complementaries. The complementaries usually cancel out each other, which creates that brown hue. So to create the first one, I'm going to put green on the top. And these are all labeled for you accordingly, so you don't have to guess which colors to use. So we have green up here. And we're going to put red at the bottom. Make sure you wipe off your brush. Taking red, placing it right at the bottom, and dragging that upward. And now it is okay for us to go ahead and mix these colors together. So I'm going to bring the red up, bring the green down, place a little bit more green as needed. So again, just eyeball it, whatever you think looks right. But as you can see, the color instantly changes once the red and the green are mixed. So it creates more of a murky brown color. Just like that. And same thing with the rest. So like blue and orange is gonna create a different type of brown. Violet and yellow is gonna create a different type of brown. I can actually show you um, the blue and the orange too, just so you can get a kind of sense of it. So I'll take blue, put it at the top. Drag it down, wipe off my brush. Again, we're wiping it off because we don't want the blue to be contaminating the orange part that we're gonna place here. Take my orange, place it right here, and slowly drag that up. And then you can go ahead and mix the two colors in the middle. And I can tell that I have a lot more orange than blue in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is take my blue again, just a little bit, put it in the middle, and blend those together. And it's not the prettiest color in the world, but as you can see, the two complementaries, blue and orange, they cancel out each other, and they create a different type of brown. So you're gonna do the same thing with violet and yellow. Next, what we're gonna do is the analogous color gradation. So analogous color, again, is three um, colors next to each other on the color wheel. So I think for me, what I'm going to do is, I'll probably do yellow and green and then create yellow green in the middle. So I'm gonna take my yellow, which is right up here, put it on the top, and you're gonna do this twice. So you can experiment with two different sets of analogous colors put it on the top and then I'm going to take my oh, wipe off the brush because we don't want anything touching the green until we get to the middle take my green put it on the bottom and then we can slowly drag those up to mix so I have my green up here I'm gonna add a little bit more and then add some yellow. And again, you only need a little bit of green to mix with the yellow. If you add too much green, yellow is a very, very, very light color. It absorbs a lot of, like any sort of color you add to it, it'll absorb very quickly. So I would do more yellow than green. But as you can see, we have dark green, yellow green, and now yellow. So those are the analogous um, colors, and you're gonna do the same thing, but with a different set on this side.